Hi everybody. Um, a few people have asked me how I go about changing the um, background image on OpenWebRx when you start the page uh, behind the waterfall. Uh, so here's how you do it. Um, basically, the first thing you need to do is um, get your file, your picture, and put it into the correct place, the correct folder on the uh, OpenWebRx server. So I'm logged into my OpenWebRx Web server here now. I've opened um, File Manager and basically we're going to this htdocs folder. So I've created a favorite on here because I go in there regularly. Um, htdocs can be found here in, if you're in as root, uh, usr, lib, python3, dist packages, and then htdocs. Once you're in htdocs, you want to go to the graphics folder, which is gfx, gfx folder. So if I go back to htdocs, it will ask me for a password. And there we go, that's what htdocs looks like. Um, we're in the graphics folder, um, so back into there. That's where you put your picture that you want to display. So once you've got it in there, make sure you've got the name correct. Then we're going to go to the specific place where the CSS file, where this is being kind of drawn from. So the quickest way of finding this is if you actually bring up your web page. Uh, let me just refresh this in its own time <clears throat> so here if I right click in the space before the waterfalls appeared and once you've right clicked open the developer developer tools or inspection or whatever it's called on your browser that will then give you this information here um, and you can find using this you can find where the uh, the picture is hold on let me start it then sorry about that right let's do that again right click there on the space then i'm going to click this div box here there it is right <clears throat> so you can see now we're, we're referencing the the picture that i've got so as you can see it's in this um openwebrx.css file and it's called Jodwell Drone Pick 2.jpg. Actually, that's wrong. <laughs> so I better go and change that. But anyway, um, so we're now going to go and find that location. So let's go back to the server. Um, basically, we're going to find the CSS file. So it's it's again, it's in htdocs. So back to there. And then CSS is this folder, and then OpenWebRx CSS is that one. So open that with um, a text file program. I've already got it open here. And then go to Find, and then search for the background image or WebRx-Canvas. That's what I searched for. You can see this highlighted bit here. Once you've found it, you should get these um, five references here to that picture location. Now, I'll be honest, I don't know exactly which one is the one you need. Um, I do realize that that said two, didn't it? When ours isn't called two. So let me just, although, as you can see, it's still working. So it's clearly not bothering using that. But what I do is change all of them to the file that you want to display and then you can't go wrong can you so like i say i can't remember which one it is that actually does the the job uh, without changing them individually so i've just changed them all to it and as you saw before it does work so basically what you're doing is you, you swap in this file name we're in the gfx folder you swap in this file name here to your file name that you've just saved in there once you've done that click save um you might need to put your password in again once it's saved and there's no asterisks here, obviously you go back to your uh, web page and make sure you do a control and F5 to uh, clear the cache with your browser. If you do control F5, it should then, in its own time, load up your page in the background. There it is. Um, so that is how you do it. I hope that was useful. Thanks. See you later.